my god, it's Saturday 20th, I think, or something like that. And it's already 6 p.m. Mexico City time. We just got home from the Gay Pride. Oh, okay, it's actually 7. We just got home from the Gay Pride and took a shower because it started raining. while we were walking the street in the fray. It was amazing, like, beyond amazing. Um, it was great. We were drinking in the street, which I think you shouldn't do, but we were anyways. We are having some beers, and and there was this one guy uh, giving free kisses, and he was kind of hot, and then he grabbed me and kissed me, and it was like, okay. And a bunch of people started taking pictures of my ass. And somebody decided to start charging a peso for it, and I ended up getting just 50 cents out of the deal, one. And, uh, <laughs> which was great. Um, Wow, it was a blast. Uh, be posting some pictures along with this video and a little bit more videos about it. Um, wow, it's just again another year in Mexico City Pride. Unbelievable. Should be one of the top five gay destinations for Pride. Like, honestly, honest to God. You don't want to miss the Mexico City Gay Pride. People from Germany, French people, a lot of French people, a lot of European people, basically. I get to see, like, a couple of people from Spain that were, like, going around asking for parties. Uh, we've seen some Puerto Rican guys that we started talking to a little bit. Uh, well, from all around the country, Mexico, uh, what else can I say? It was was great and uh, we didn't get to go this year to Sokolo which is where they end up because we were not soaked but a little bit more and it was like little chunks of ice that started raining I don't remember the word for it because I'm not hail there you go. And it was very, very, it got very, very cold. And between that and I ended up in my underwear running around with my little flag and dancing and jumping and swinging in the street. Under the rain. And, um, yeah. Yesterday, though, we went to Xochicalco and to um, a, a, some caves called Cacahuamilpa. Both of them were great. Xochicalco was a mind-blowing experience. It was really good. The, the caves were great, though we were the last group and it kind of seemed like the tour guide wasn't at its best. But, I mean, like, so far, everyone's been extremely gay-friendly. It's, like, one of the top places you might want to consider to come and spend your vacation. They should be paying me for this anyways. It was great. Uh, we're heading to a party tonight in Cuernavaca, Morelos, which is not in Mexico City. We're actually driving an hour over to a club that we were invited to. And we might end up staying the night over there and coming back. Because in Mexico City, they're closing the clubs, the tree and everything else. It's like private parties. We got three invitations. Two out of the three are orgies. So I don't think we want to really to go there for some reason and the other one it seems that it's kind of far away and it's like a little bit expensive and so we decided 
we were going to go to the one that we already decided to go over in Cuernavaca, even if it means driving an hour, because that club is great and I've already been there a lot. So, uh, that's that. A lot of pictures coming up very quick, and you can check out the rest of the pictures on a link I'm going to be putting right here somewhere. All right, well, thanks for watching this, everybody, and have a great, great day, and, well, I'll keep you guys informed, and so far, I can say that Mexico City, it's really a gayeradize right now, at least this time of year. All right, uh, till tomorrow. Bye-bye.